announced to shut down all international airports. Hello everyone, you're welcome to the news. The National Association of Nigerian Students, alongside the National Association of University Students, Southwest Zone, has stated that it is ready to shut down all international airports over the failure of the federal government to address the lingering strike action of the academic staff union of universities and, and other staff unions. In a press statement made available to the Punch on Wednesday and jointly signed by the leadership of NANS and NAUS, Southwest Zones, the students said they had waited long enough for the federal government to resolve the crisis. Those who signed the statement include the NANS Southwest Coordinator Adeboye Olasunji, Deputy Coordinator Alao John, Public Relations Officer Awoyinfa Okolua, and now Southwest Vice President Adesoji Oladimiji. The statement read in part, It is timely and urgent to address this press conference today with a view of putting an end to the long lingering strike action of ASU and ASUP and for a total reformation of the educational sector. The leadership of NANS Zone D in conjunction with NAUS has taken it upon itself to categorically stand against the dilapidated state of the educational sector in Nigeria. We have waited for so long to see if the federal government will dance to the music of Nigerian students who have been clamoring for an end to the ASU strike, but the reverse is the case. We have had several press conferences, granted several interviews, and held several meetings to plead with both ASU and the federal government. Our future is being jeopardized. We are in a country where age is a key factor in the labor market. Aviation unions gave a two-day warning strike on shutdown of flight operations. The meeting was scheduled by the federal government and the strike action was called off in less than 24 hours because the first-class citizen will be affected. But it is so obvious that none of them is affected by the ASU ASUB strike. They have their children all over the world enjoying a smooth educational system. On Monday, May 16, 2022, the Accountant General of the Federation, Ahmed Idris, was arrested over alleged money laundering and diversion of public funds of at least 80 billion naira by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Where is the integrity of the government preaching against corruption? How much of the public funds would have settled the educational sector and put an end to the yearly ASU ASUP strike action? For so long, ASU and ASUP strike have been on ongoing and the federal government has not been showing concern through the Minister of Education. We are ready to take the bull by the horn as Nigerian students will not remain silent and watch our future be ruined by the prolonged ASU ASUP strike. According to the Commandment of Solidarity, we are on the last of the three C's of Aluta, which is confrontation. This is the time to call on all Nigerian students across all zones to come out en masse to take over all international airports in the country. Nigerian students are tired of the long overdue strike action. The leadership of NANS, Dundi, in conjunction with NAUS, hereby declare a massive protest to shut down all international airports in Nigeria. We must state categorically to the federal government that all activities shall be shut down by over 22 million Nigerian students across southwest Nigeria until the ASU and ASUB strike is called off. What a country called Nigeria. What a country called Nigeria. What a dear country called Nigeria. Anybody who has passed through the institutions of Nigeria, from maybe kindergarten to university, and who has, you know, advanced in age, will weep at the current state of affairs of our educational sector. Nigerians proudly churn out students who go abroad and excel so well in all their field of endeavors. Our nurses and doctors are known as the top in the world, in UK, US, and all other countries. Our students who go to universities abroad always come tops when they're in an environment that is very enabling with no strike, effective communication, and delivery of lectures. What is going on at home now? Our children have been sitting at home from February. When the strike action started, all we are concerned about is politics. Our education minister is running up and down, wanting to contest for presidency, while our children are at home. This is our dear country, Nigeria. And all thanks to everybody who has been in governance from 1999 to date, 
because it is almost the end of Buhari's administration. And you know, when he just resumed his office at that time, any little thing, he'll say, Oh, previous administration, Mr. President, what have you been doing for eight years? Your own children are not attending schools in Nigeria. But the poor man has the right to also struggle to put his children through school. But what happens at the end of the day? They are sitting at home for several months on end. And when you have students, I do not doing anything. It just shows what the future might look like. May God help us to help ourselves and take our destiny into our hands. Just weeks ago, from I think about last week, students have been, you know, protesting at major points. As you can see in this picture, this is a highway, you know, where they decided to lay their protest. You know, those states two days ago, protesting students who were protesting peacefully were shot at by uniformed men. Our country called Nigeria. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe now that they have threatened, you know, to shut down airports, which is a major getaway for so-called big men and political big wigs, maybe they will find a solution to it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next news. God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.